What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to attempt a Canadian quiz. A quiz about Canada. 20 questions. And according to this quiz, uh, it says only Canadians will pass this quiz. So if I get a perfect score, I don't know, maybe I'm an honorary Canadian of sorts. But if I don't, I, uh, I don't know what happens. I hope I don't get demoted to a negative Canadian or something, or maybe I can have some kind of honorary title, like honorary moose or maple leaf, perhaps? Dep well, that depends on how good I do. So I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little bit nervous because I believe these are general questions about Canada, Canadian history, stuff like that. So I'm not quite sure what's going to be in here. So there's only one way to find out. Let's just get the show on the road. 20 trivia questions. Here we go. Here, here we go, A. Eh? Yeah, here we go, A, eh? indeed. <laughs> That's very uh, motivational. When was Canada founded? Oh, don't get started with the dates. Come on. Did this have to be question one? Oh, why are we hitting me with the dates? It was in the 1800s something. There's literally no way I'm going to be able to answer this one, so I might as well just see. Uh, when was Canada founded? When was it founded? Man, this animation takes a long time. I might have to skip it <laughs> next time. July 1st, 1867. Yes, it always shocks me every time I see it. Uh, just how young Canada is, kind of like America, to be honest. And July 1st, Canada Day, I was aware of that, but... There's just no way I was going to know the specific date Canada came into existence, but now I know. You know, how can I? Only Canadians can pass this test. How could I call myself an honorary Canadian if I don't even know the date that it was founded? July 1st, 1867. Got it. Let's move along. Let's just move right along. Where did Canada get its name? I did... I did react to a video that did have something along the lines of how Canada got its name. Actually, that was exactly the video title. <laughs> that was exactly. It's from the word Kanata, which is like an indigenous native Canadian word for something like home or it's from this word Kanata, which became Canada. I'm pretty sure. Let's skip ahead here. Uh... The name Canada likely comes from the Huron Iroquois word for Kanata. Thank you. Thank you. Meaning village or settlement. Okay. I feel like I feel like that's pretty good that I know that. I don't know when Canada was founded, but I know where the word Canada comes from. A little redemption there. I don't know. I'm almost glad that the perfect score is kind of out of reach because there's no there's no huge pressure here, but maybe I can get 19 out of 20. That'd be pretty good. When did Canada's current flag become official? Would you get out of here with these dates? I hope there's not too many specific dates on this quiz. When did Canada's current flag become official? I don't know. It was a long time ago. I watched a video on how Canada's flag came into existence. There was a contest, a design contest the government hosted to choose some kind of national symbol to represent Canada. And there is, there's an interesting story behind it, but as for the date, I'm sorry. I do, do most Canadians know this stuff? Like, these exact dates? Like, respect? I'm not even that great on my American history, to be honest. February 15th, 1965. Yes, that, yeah, 1965, that really shocked me. Just how recently the flag was designed. That really blew my mind became the how recently it became official man okay so oh man i have one correct two incorrect <laughs> out of three all right all right let's buckle down here what was the last province providence the last providence what kind of quiz is this the last province to join Ca canada hmm nothing comes to mind well something does come to mind i don't know why for some reason, I don't even think I ever 
watched a YouTube video on this or reacted to this, but maybe just every day American Tyler heard Saskatchewan. I think that's literally the only thing that comes to mind, and I don't know why. Newfoundland. <laughs> oh, Newfoundland. Wait, is that like a picture? Could I have looked at this picture? It could have helped me. I don't even think looking at that picture. <laughs> I like how I said Saskatchewan with such confidence. Like, I truly believed it there for a second. Newfoundland. Man, even the name has the word new in it. So that was the last province to join Canada. That's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, hmm. Uh, and that's probably something most Canadians actually know, huh? Man, this this quiz did not lie. Only Canadians will pass this quiz. I, I know very obscure things about Canada, I feel like. Just not these obvious ones. <laughs> not some of the obvious ones. In the dates. What is Canada famous for? Uh, what is Canada famous for? It's famous for a lot of things. Is this picture supposed to help me? That's maple syrup. Is, is the answer maple syrup? I mean... That's kind of what I'm forced to go with here. I feel like my hands are tied. What is Canada famous for? Uh, I don't know what Canada considers itself famous for, but hockey, moose, landscapes, and of course, maple syrup. I'm, I'm taking that. I don't, no, no, no. I'm, that counts. That counts. Don't, shush. Don't even say it doesn't. That counts. Maple syrup is on the list. All right. That's two correct. Uh, out of six questions, <laughs> out of the first five, two correct. What is Canada's nickname? Oh, America's hat, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. People in America don't even say that. I've just seen that in YouTube videos as kind of a troll. Um, I assume this is talking about the Great White North. The Great White North, please. Thank you, wonderful. All right, we're coming back a little bit. That's three out of six, 50% correct. What is Canada's most populated city? I like that they have a little map. Um, I think most Americans would not know the answer to this. They might have said Ottawa, uh, but I believe it's Toronto. That's, and most Americans think Toronto is the capital of Canada, actually, but Toronto. Please, Toronto. Yeah, okay. We're officially positive again. We're four out of seven, correct, I think. Maybe all the hard questions were at the beginning. Please be at the beginning. What American war convinced the leaders and people of Canada to unite? What American war? I mean, there's a picture there of the American Civil War. It literally has the, the flags and the Confederate flag. What, I didn't know the American Civil War convinced the people and leaders of Canada to unite. We were not taught any of that in our little American history classes. I didn't know the American Civil War had an impact on Canada. This is something I'd actually like to look into. Assuming the answer is the American Civil War. The U.S. Civil War, exactly. Okay. I mean, the photo helped. I'm not going to lie, but... That's actually interesting. I'd like to learn more about that. Okay, so out of eight, I believe that puts me at five out of eight. Okay, nice. Name the first Canadian to go to space. I don't, n I'm sorry, like, no. Do, do Canadians know the first American to go into space? Should I, I feel bad about this. I feel like I, this is me neglecting some of the important historical moments in Canadian history, but I, uh, I never, I never learned this fact, and I don't know astronauts very well in general, so I already know I'm not going to get this one. Marc Garneau, is he, uh, from Quebec? That sounds like a French last name, honestly. Marc Garneau, I have not heard of him, so that wasn't even hidden somewhere in the deep recesses of my mind, so I, I had no chance. I accept it, I accept it. I think that puts me at about five out of nine, correct? Oh boy, uh, my honorary title is in jeopardy here. Name the Canadian mixed martial artist that is considered one of the greatest fighters in MMA history. Well, lucky for me, 
I am a, a, a MMA UFC fan. So I know George St. Pierre is uh, was this famous French Canadian MMA fighter. That's the only Canadian fighter I know at George St. Pierre. It is George St. Pierre. Yeah, I was going to say. I <laughs> That's just like I learned that just like in general from like hobbies and my interests. I didn't even have to put an effort to look that one up. I feel like that was that's a tough one. Do most people know that? Huh. I'm 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 proud of that one. I'm proud of that one. That's like a bonus for me. All right. I think I got 6 out of 10. How many teams in the NBA are from Canada? Canada has an NBA team? <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. It's not because I uh, am neglecting Canadian basketball. It's because I don't watch basketball. I don't watch American basketball. I don't watch the NBA. There's only one Canadian basketball team I ever heard of. Are they, Like the Raptors? Maybe one. Is there one? I didn't even know there were, there might be one Canadian NBA team. The Toronto Raptors. They're the Toronto Raptors, and it's correct. Excellent. Man, that was going out on a limb. I was afraid it was going to... Well, there was no way that was going to be a trick question. I think that's what helped me. The answer was not going to be zero, even though I would have probably said zero a while ago, but the question, how it was phrased, made me think, well... I think I know one basketball team in Canada. Okay, one. Nice. So that puts me at like six out of 12? Seven out of 12. Seven out of 12. Oh, sorry. Six out of 11. Six out of 11. We are currently on question number 12. Six out of 11. Still, still above 50%. Barely. <laughs> barely. Who hit the three run homer? To give the Blue Jays a World Series title. I don't watch baseball. I don't watch Canadian baseball. I'm sorry. I feel like if this won the World Series, this was a huge moment in Canadian baseball. So I imagine most Canadians probably do know this. But I sure don't. This is like asking me who the first Canadian astronaut to go to the moon is. I I can't tell you. I have no idea. Joe Carter, 1993. All right, Joe Carter. Got it. Uh, as of 1, 2022, who was the last Canadian NHL team to win the Stanley Cup? Man, there's a couple of sports questions in here, and I'm just not... <sighs> I know a lot of random Canadian facts. I do. I just don't know a lot about sports. Except MMA, for some reason. Uh, to win this, I have no idea. Absolutely none. The Montreal Canadiens? The Montreal Canadiens? Is that, is that correct? Is that spelled correctly? In 1993. Yeah, I mean, if it makes it any better, I don't know. The last American hockey team to win the Stanley Cup. I have no idea who, who is winning the Stanley Cup ever. America, Canada, no idea. So that's not, I, 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 that helps me sleep at night a little bit. <laughs> that's going to help me sleep at night after this. <laughs> uh, we are, so that's, oh boy, it's been a few questions. I think I've only gotten six correct out of 13. This is a tough quiz. Now it, I was kind of laughing at the title at the beginning. Said only Canadians can pass this quiz. I think that's true. Some of this stuff is just like difficult. How many times has Canada hosted the Olympics? How many times has Canada hosted the Olympics? Hmm. I feel like two or three times. Two or three times. <sighs> I don't know where. Oh, there's one. Vancouver 2010. Three times. Three times. There's got to be a Summer Olympics in there. Three Yes, there is a Summer Olympics. Oh, I was really banking on that. Wow, that was kind of a guess. That's <laughs> Since I got it right. <laughs> since I got it right, I feel like I can be honest here. Uh, okay. Summer, 1976 Summer Olympics, 1988 Winter Olympics, and 2010 Winter Olympics. I mean, only one of these 
occurred while I was alive. So I feel somewhat like I'm get I got away with something there, even kind of vaguely thinking two or three, three Olympics in Canada. Wonderful. Thank you. That kind of broke my losing streak there. That, that was actually very critical, I think, for me to have any kind of chance here coming around the end. I'm seven for 14, 50%. I, <laughs> I think my goal is to end this quiz at above 50% correct answers. So seven out of 14. How many time zones are in Canada? How many time zones? Probably the same amount as in America? How many time zones are in America? Like five or six, right? <laughs> Four, five, or six? Canada, gosh. Canada's bigger than America. How many time zones? Like five, probably five time zones, That I would think. Six, six time zones. Oh, I mean, that was that was a better effort. It's better than some of my answers that are, I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> six time zones. Sheesh. Does America have six time zones? I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I just concerned myself with my little time zone. That's tough enough. Okay, dang. So I'm seven out of 15. Back to under 50%. What two languages are the most spoken in Canada? Thank you, Canada. Thank you, Canada Quiz, for blessing me <laughs> with the easiest question ever. Why are these questions so hard? And then we come to this thing, oh, randomly. The easiest, like English and French is, please, please, Quiz, don't be a trick question. English and French. Thank you, what? Why, where did this question come from? Okay, it was, it's a blessing. Okay, I'll take it. I'm not gonna ask, I'm not gonna question it. They threw in a freebie, threw in a freebie. I'm at eight out of 16. What is the largest river in Canada? Oh, don't hit me with the geography questions. Where is this even? In the Yukon? The Northwest Territories? Uh, the largest river in Canada, I don't. The Nile River. All right, I, I'm trolling. I, even I know the Nile River is not in Canada. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't even tell you a river in Canada that would make the Mackenzie River. The Mackenzie River. I probably learned that too when I was learning about the Yukon. Cool stuff to do in the Yukon. I probably learned about the Mackenzie River. If I had just been, if I just had a little more hard drive space in here. All right, Mackenzie River, biggest river in Canada. That's a fun fact. That's a fun fact. Um, so out of 17 questions, I think I got seven. This is looking grim. What Canadian city sits on the St. Lawrence River? Uh, St. Lawrence River. Man, that is right by a couple of cities. A cu that is by a bunch of Canadian cities. St. Lawrence River, Montreal, I think. I, Toronto's not that close. Montreal, please? Thank you. Okay, that's like, that is really, really pushing the limits of my geographical ability of Canada, like to the max, to the max. Okay, so now I have 8 out of 18. Uh, what island is located off the coast of British Columbia? Off the coast of British Columbia? Like, west? Off the... That far west? Off the coast of Canada, British Columbia? An island? I probably learned this at one point, because it's probably famous for something, but... I have no idea. Is there a bear? There's a picture of a bear. Is there a bear on this island? No idea. Vancouver Island? Vancouver Island? I've never heard of Vancouver Island, to my knowledge. All right, I, you know, fine. I, I don't think, I don't think it was destined for me to name this famous Canadian band. I don't. <laughs> I don't. 
<laughs> this quiz has kind of surprised me with its subject matter. It's not... that Actually, at the beginning, there was Canadian world history type of thing, which I could have gotten, but... Uh, <laughs> this has really been questions from all over Canada culture and topics, which I guess is fair for this quiz. I'm just kind of trying to come up with a reason why I did so poorly. Um, name this famous Canadian band. Um, no idea. <laughs> it's the Michael Buble backup singers. That's, that's what they are. It's what it is. Please. <laughs> the hip. The tragically hip. I've heard of them. Didn't know they were Canadian. Cool. You know what? I think, uh, man, I think I ended up with 7 out of 20. Sheesh. I think what I have to say is that this quiz, instead of proving my mastery of Canadian knowledge and, and, and facts, it was a learning experience. I learned 13 new facts about Canada and proved that there is much, much, much yet for me to learn about Canada, but that's okay. I think this was just a learning experience, a bit humbling even. It is good for me. Very good. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to cry into my pillow <laughs> and get over this, but no, uh, I think it was fair because the questions were just all over the place, so I, I'd be really curious if there are Canadians out there who could go 20 for 20 on this. So I don't even think I could go 20 for 20 on an American quiz, so... I'm, I'm proud of my seven. <laughs> I'm proud of my seven out of 20. So I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, uh, me reacting to Canada or Canadian culture or stuff about Canada I've never learned, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.